Hello, I'm the Blue Iron Wings and today let's talk about the short shell kit I've designed for Colonel Wasp's Firefly Shotgun. The clue is in the name, this is a short shell kit. Now, these are your normal short darts and as you will have noticed when you put them in the shell there's a bit of wasted space at the front there. There's not, it's not long enough to actually have a full length dart so I don't know why they picked this particular length, but they did. But the point is, I looked at that and went, if you cut off the top, which you don't need anymore, because it's dead space, and make the shell actually fit the dart, you could fit more of these in the mag tube. So obviously everything takes up space. So obviously everything takes up space, and if you get rid of the dead space you don't need, you can fit more in here. I'll need to actually, um, figure out how many I can get in, but I think in theory I can get two or three more in, but I'll let you know at the end. But yes, anyway, well making the difference to these is quite simple, you just cut them down in the length. You need to actually account for that in the central holder, which I've taken to cooling it, because there's a little step down here, so I'll just push my finger up against, where the rubber seal goes and the mag tube sits on the back of that. Now normally with a full, this is a full length holder with a full length shell, you can see it sits about there, so there's a bit of space for it to squish into the rubber and extract claw to still to get round it. Now, if we were to keep this the same and just put a short shell in, well, it's completely lost, you'd never extract that. So the back of the rest, oops, where that seal goes in, needs to be moved out this way a bit. You see that sits out basically about the same, giving you a bit of space once it's pushed into the rubber to be where it needs to be. And for example, if you put the full length in there, it would just never sit. Now, technically the full length ones would work here. It would just mean that the <laughs> breech would not be fully forward, so you'd lose I don't know, what, maybe a centimetre of spring extension in the plunger tube. But that does mean that the short kit is compatible with the short shells and the long shells. The fitting will be exactly the same as the last video for the full length one. Just your little rubber grommet thing is going to fit further down in there. Feed it in. And just as before, you're going to need to make sure oops, it's sat back in there properly, nice and flat all the way around. Also, I got this, um, I think it's a version of this without Picatinny on Thingiverse, but I ended up getting this from somebody else because I prefer having my grips like that. I mean, this was actually a little bit tight around the barrel tube. Now for some reason there's a bit of burring on my barrel tube which was convenient because that makes it like fractionally bigger. So I basically just put this on here and ran it up and down and up and down against that bit of burring until it was nice and smooth. Okay. Catch on the burring a bit there but that'll be sat in here. There we go. Yeah so the stock one is screwed together so you can put it over and clamp it. But this one being one 3D printed piece, you have to put it on first. And it does fit with the stock bar. Don't know if you can see that, but the barrel does sit quite a bit further back in this muzzle piece now. Mag follower and the babble yep, the mag tube is sat nicely in there. Okay. Sit that in there. Far forward as it goes. Press that string, sit it underneath. Okay, and we're back. That was an absolute pain in the bum to put back together. Right anyway. I've done a couple of 
primes and I found out why this bit is in here because although it won't <laughs> this bit doesn't get in the way it needs to cut out so this can actually lift up earlier and off in the shell I'll show you in a minute but let's do a loading test first now originally this could take six of the full length ones with my slight indentation here and improved follower you can get seven in there so how many of the short shells can we get in there so these are my <laughs> prototype one they've got a square edge those have got a, uh, a more rounded edge Two, three, four, five, six, which is the old stock capacity, seven, which is the capacity of the stock with mine, eight. barely nine so there you go you can go from six to nine which is three more shots just by fitting the short shell kit the slightly deeper muzzle piece of my improved follower now you just heard me mention why this doesn't work This is currently primed to make my life easier. So we're going to pull it back here. And there goes a shell. Now, I know it's just gone the wrong way, but that's due to this lying down. This will be more. It's gone the wrong way because it was upside down. Be better when this is actually leveling straight, but you can't see that. Do the best we can here. Now, as I pull this forward, you can see it lifts the shell, and that's as far as it lifts it. That's as far as this rides up. But if you consider this one, you'll see by this point that will have lifted to there. See the difference here? And that's just enough to lift this up higher and feed it in. Now, I can't be bothered to fix this. <laughs> I don't really even like this blaster. It was just a novelty of being shell ejecting. But to fix this, this needs to be lifted up higher. How would I go about doing that? Well, you either need to fill in the inside of this to lift it up higher, but still make sure it's low enough when it's in the down position. So whether you built up this bit here or you built up that bit, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think you could beef up these feed lips anymore because it would block the shells actually coming out, which kind of means you do need this funny shape. Which is unfortunate. I'll let the files in the description below. Short shell kit works. Improved lifter is not improved. <laughs> I think it's marginal. I'm not sure whether it's marginally easier to prime because of this straight edge or the handle. Hopefully it's the handle because I'm going to lose that straight edge because as I mentioned, that means the lift doesn't come up quite as high and you can't have to show anymore but thanks for watching catch you later